everybody it's Kim Wilson and we have a beautiful spring day here today even though it is only February but um, that puts you in the mood for bluebirds I had somebody say they saw one last week so that's really cool so um, I showed you last time that my friend Brenda gave me this card um, almost finished and I did finally finish it today with some of the bluebirds from the flight and airy paper. I just fussy cut some of the birds out and then I added on the inside You're On My Mind from the Quiet Reflection stamp set which is really pretty, has some lovely sentiments and um, yeah so this card is really easy to make to make it look like a birdhouse so it's just a regular card a hot dog style folded in half at five and a half inches and let's see I didn't measure this but let me grab my grid paper here or my um, glass mat here and measure the diagonals it looks like she did them at about one and a half inches so at one and a half inches from each side make a little uh, pencil mark or even just put it right into your trimmer where you have your scoring blade one and a half on each side and go diagonally like that and then just score the folds and fold them so they go in like that and make the birdhouse card. Isn't that clever? So simple but very clever. So thank you Brenda for that idea and hope you can try it as well. Um, the last chance to get your flight and airy paper is t Thursday. Thursday is the end of celebration and it's also the last chance to get the glass mat for free. I've been Loving this as my work surface. It's so easy to clean with the chamois. Mine isn't wet right now. It's hard, but as soon as I stick this under the faucet, it immediately softens up, and then you can use it to wipe anything. And I kind of use this uh, um, that comes with it as a holder for the chamois, or you can use it for watercoloring. It's got a nice rough surface here for cleaning off your um, brushes or... Um, anything that you're using for watercoloring, little wells for your ink spots or your um, watercoloring if you're doing different colors with the re-inkers, the ink refills. So lots of fun things you can do with this whole suite and it's a $60 value. So hey, why not uh, grab it for free? Just a few more days left to do that on my website here, kwstamps.stampinup.net under jo the join. And if you have any questions, pop them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer those. Okay, moving along, because I need to cover a few other um, show-and-tell samples that I haven't showed you yet before celebration is over. And one is the stippled, let's see, stippled, softly stippled paper, which kind of goes along with the stippled roses bundle from the mini catalog. And again, we've got beautiful artwork on here and some um scripted sentiments as well so let me show you what i came up with with this uh, bundle and paper so here's just um just layers so i've show uh show two different pieces of the designer paper here i use the what is that country corners paper or dies to cut that that piece out and then um just stamped the roses in pool party and die cut those added a couple of the gems that are also a celebration freebie and then um, just this sentiment right here best birthday wishes from stippled roses so a really simple card just a bunch of layers popped up oh the ribbon also is a celebration freebie so I'm gonna be sad on Thursday when celebration is over because I've had such fun with all of these things and since I'm a demonstrator I'm gonna be moving on to new things but you are welcome to to get these and have lots of fun with them in the future so more projects i look i wanted to do some fun folds with the paper since i had a whole pack of it here and i just did use up um, quite a bit of it um, making some fun projects so here i just stamped the leaves from stippled roses on the front and um, did some fun folding here and i do have so you can see both sides of the paper I did, I did make measurements here, so let me read this off because you probably can't read my scribbles here. The designer series paper was five and a quarter by 11 and a half. I scored it at four, six and three quarters, and nine and a half. The cardstock piece is just a quarter sheet, five and a half by four and a quarter. 
I wrote that down wrong, four and a quarter. And then my inside pieces and my top piece here. Um, oh, well, if you wanted to do an inside piece, which I did on this other one here, because the pattern was bolder, the inside piece was two and a half by three and a half. And let me grab a pen and fix that mistake there. Five and a half by four and a quarter for the cardstock piece. So just a fun way to um, show off your two sides of your designer series paper. So I actually used the same one and flipped it. So I had the kind of, um, there we go. And this one I did the gray granite for the leaves and I think winter uh, wild wheat maybe for the leaves here because those colors coordinate. Um, yeah, this may even be pebbled path too. So anyhow, really fun. And this one I really loved because it just uses a standard um, card shape, but you're cutting it and scoring it in different ways so that this center piece pops up. It's called a center uh, center pop-up card. So when you um, when you go to mail it, let's see, it does actually go down. Um, let's see, how did I have that? I have it. I had it sitting out for so long that. Oh, there we go. So you can fold down all the pieces so it goes flat, and then when you open it up, you've got all these other fun. There we go. Fun designs. And so basically you're just cutting and scoring one piece of cardstock and then decorating this that center pop-up. So really fun. So maybe we'll do that in class sometime because I really love that fun fold. Anyways, I guess that's it for today. Um, run into my over to my website here if you didn't get your celebration order in or if you've been wondering about... Um, joining as a demonstrator to get the glass mat studio, or if you don't like the glass mat studio and you want to get $30 extra and free stuff in your kit, the um, demonstrator starter kit is only $99. So it really is the best deal. And there's no requirements to do videos like this or anything. We have so many uh, crafty friends that just like the discount and grab the, grab that kit for the great discount um, and stay in for a little while to, stock up on your favorite supplies um, and at a discount. So love that too. Or there's some that, like me that, that want to do a little bit more. And so we do classes or kit togethers where we just get together with a couple of friends and make some kits. So there's all sorts of different options. And um, hope you consider that whenever it's a good time for you because it's very flexible and fits fits in your schedule whenever it's right for you. So there's my cards for today. Oh, got to get that birdhouse card back in there. And um, hope you have a wonderful week. Happy crafting.